This is Jamaican's largest reggae archive? Well this is for you to judge. The archive holds exclusive rare Bob Marley images, concert materials, and memorabilia. There are reportedly 12,000 vinyl records and CDs, 10,000 posters and flyers and 12,000 hours of tapes, also tens of thousands of reggae photographs, 30,000 reggae flyers from all over the world, 2,000 reggae posters, many of them signed by the original artists, 140 cubic feet of alphabetized clippings, and an array of invaluable books and magazines. Built in 1985, the Bob Marley Museum is the most popular museum in Jamaica. Museums make US$15 BN annually according to Statista. 9,000 reggae records, about a third of which are autographed by the artists, for the benefit of readers too young to know what I'm talking about, records are vinyl discs that are played on a turntable, usually at either 33 or 45 revolutions per minute, and in this age of digital downloads, iPods, MP3s and whatever else has been invented lately, they're still the best way anyone's come up with to capture the sound of music for mass consumption. 5,000 reggae, ska and rock steady CDs. 2,000 hours of videos and DVDs, much of the footage either unique or rare, including 200 hours of Stefan's cable TV show, LA Reggae, directed by Trinidadian musician, filmmaker Chili Charles. More than 10,000 hours of cassette tape recordings, including rare singles, interviews, and thousands of live shows. More than 120 cubic feet of newspaper and magazine clippings. 25,000 of Stefan's photographs, that's not a stray not, it really is 25,000, and their reproduction rights, plus many thousands of others' photos. 25,000 plus posters and flyers. 3,000 buttons and badges. 3,000 business cards. 1,100 t-shirts. And wow! This is certainly one of the largest Bob Marley memorabilia.